Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this pop-up card. So I've got the beautiful half butterfly on the front here and my sentiment thinking of you and your family. And then when you open it up, you have this gorgeous pop-up butterfly. The card can be displayed like this or you could have it displayed flat. I've used some of my flowers here and I didn't go for a sentiment on the inside in the end because I just thought I just wanted something that the person's going to open and just be like wow that's really pretty and just hopefully it puts a smile on their face even if it's just for a short time and then on the back it says may your pain ease with each passing day but just a really nice way to use what's in your stash it doesn't have to be a butterfly this could be a bird it could be the pages of a book as long as it's got a center fold you can stick that on top of this and you'll see that and i'll explain it all in the tutorial but really easy to make so let's get started so these are the dies i've used so it's the layering butterfly die set you get five dies and i'll just show you which ones i've used I've, I've actually i've used all of them so i'm gonna have half a butterfly on the front full butterfly on the inside and then the other half of the butterfly i think on the back so i've cut the same for both sets so you get the solid this one here which can be used as a stencil but there's no die cutting detail inside it's just the outline so i've used that in the white i've then die cut the larger design again in the white because that's going to go on top and then in between you get the designs that are then like smaller and then or medium then small so yeah you've got your large when you've got them you'll know but you've got your large medium and small in terms of the design there so I've just used the different colours there. So I've got the, um, no, it's that way. Yeah, so the light blue over the dark. So you see that coming through. And then when you sit the white over the top, you see all of the layers there. It's got a nice peacock feel to it as well. You could get creative and maybe cut into this and, and have like a, a peacock um, effect as well. And then that is going to go against the white so then you really see all that detail and then I've just die cut the body I've done this twice because everything I'm showing you I've done again there but if you just snip I mean you could make more of a body into it if you want to go a little bit kind of shaped there like that and then that is now going to fold in half and stick in the middle there and that yellow is the same yellow that I've used in the centres of the flowers. So that's all the pieces that I've done for the butterflies. For the flowers, I've used my funky floral set and I've just turned them into daisies. So I've just taken these three here along with the leaves here and I'm just going to use those inside the card. You'll then also want two pieces of one by five and a half. Along the five and a half side, you're going to score at half an inch two three and four and a half this is for the pop-up piece you'll see in a minute when i go to put my butterfly together my pieces are thinner i ended up changing it this is the size that i think you're going to need and it's going to work better so once you've done those score lines just fold and burnish all of them and then the half inch tab just add your glue and then if you just Fold the half with that one and a half piece and then fold that one over. It would perfectly line up. You just want two pieces that are like this because they can go flat. You're then going to stick the two joined sides together. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do others, but I do those two. So just pop those together and just make sure it's going to go in the card like this. So just fold it all flat. Just make sure that all lines up. So I've got my six by six card blank here which was cut from a piece of 12 by 6 and along the 12 inch side I've scored at 6 inches. I've then decorated the three sides here, the front, inside and then the back I've done. I'll go through the mats and layers there and it's using the papers. So these are the coordinating papers, the watercolour backgrounds and I've just taken the one with the blue effect there. I was going to go for that one because it's got the green, the grass as well. Probably would have looked just as nice but I'm going to just stick with blues um, for this one. So I'm going to put together this butterfly here and you'll do the other one, you know, exactly the same way, except the one that's going to pop up, you want to fold it in half right down through the middle there. And then I'm just going to stick 
make sure I get them in the right order. Stick each one down, but I'm just going to add the glue just around the body part there. So I think it's quite nice to have the rest of it kind of free and loose. You could put some very small little foam dots. I might do that. It could create quite a bit of bulk. So we'll see at the end, but you could put just a little bit of foam in between each layer. So that makes it kind of lift a bit more as well. But just each one there, just a tiny bit of glue. Like so. And then I'm going to take the body and just stick that. And then I'll fold the whole thing in half and that will fold, but a crease down the middle there. So I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. Now with these ones, because I'm going to be cutting them in half, I think I'm going to cut them all in half first of all. And then I'm just going to build it up the same way. Okay, so I'm just snipping off the antenna at the back there, the white one. So I've just got the, the yellow and I'm just going to use my ruler here just to get that fold started off. So just kind of bend it around. There's quite a few layers here and then just fold that all in half. So now you want to add your glue to the two sections here. Fold whatever it is that you've got popping up because it doesn't have to be a butterfly and just wrap that around there. I'm just going to hold that there and make sure this is completely dry before you attach it to the card and then open it. Okay, so I'm happy that that's all dry. You should see when it opens up, it's attached to both sides there. So now I'm going to add my glue to these bits, just the little squares at the bottom there. This is 300 GSM cardstock. You do want something with a bit of weight if you're, you know, layering it up like I am. If it's just single layer, then like a 220 or something, it'll probably be okay. And then I'm going to keep this nice and straight and I want it as centered as possible. And I'm going to lay it down so it's right up to the score line. And then I'm going to fold this one over and just close the card. So there is dimension to this. It will still go in like a bouncy envelope or a box envelope. No problem. Again, don't attempt to open that yet until that glue is completely dry. So I've just gone ahead and stuck everything else down as well. So I've got the half butterfly here and my sentiment. This was an old apple blossom one called Fabulous Feathers. And now when you open it up, you have this gorgeous pop-up butterfly. Now I'm not going to have any sentiment inside here. I am going to finish it off with some Nuvo drops and I'll do that in a moment. Now I've decided I'm not going to add any foam inside here because there's already quite a bit of dimension but it's nice when you pull it back it really does kind of all open up there. You can see all of the layers. I mean, you could put a vellum in between there, you could have a mirrored card. It's entirely up to you but it all stands you know and can be just be displayed that way which is what I wanted and then on the back I've got may your pain ease with each passing day and that's from a newer versus set from card making magic and it's from the butterfly trails collection they always do lovely verses so it's yeah this one here may your pain ease with each and every passing day so again just show you how that looks so whatever you have popping out it may not be a butterfly it could be a bird it could be just a sentiment it could be two like a, a book you know that opens as long as it's got that fold down the middle you can have anything you want on here so see what you've got in your stash and I bet you can create some really nice pop-up cards so thank you for watching as always I'll link below the product that I've used in this tutorial and I will also have some other tutorials some pop-up ones that you might want to watch next and if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to the channel please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell that way you'll be notified every time I upload something new see you all again soon bye